Fishing 11 meters. I explained how I fed that and the bait. I've got a small cad pot at the top. This is just for feeding small quantities of bait. This is in the winter, we don't want to feed too much. Then got doubled up number six elastic, a Dacron connector on 013 power line main line down to a PB into 3.4 these are, these are good stable floats because it's quite ripply at the moment and I've just blackened half the bristle off because the, light, the surface is quite sort of shiny silvery so that makes sure, with that I can see it and it's just dotted down to about 5 millimeters. I've then got a number 10 shot just underneath it this will mean that the float will cock much quicker so I can see the bites before uh, you would normally. Then got a bolt number 8 shot, 18 inches from the hook. So a foot underneath that I've got a second bolt because it's a double bolt rig. It's very positive with the two bolts. When a fish, but that bolt there is just lying on the bottom, just touching the bottom. So when a fish takes the bait it will lift it up and the float will lift very positive. Then I've got a 6 inch hook link, it's O11 power line and that's down to a size 18 PR434 hook. These are ideal full baits. I've then got a puller bung at the bottom just to help me land any carp on my hook. I haven't caught any today on the, on the pole. My next rig is for fishing at 6 metres. Five elastic, Dacron connector, O11 main line, down to a Preston Chianti 4x10. So I'm fishing through the water with this rig. Then I've got for about a foot, I've just spread out number 12 shot. That will fall very gently through the water. And then got an O9 hook link, down to a size 18. PR 490 hook for fishing with maggot or caster. That's just for fishing short for small fish. My final rig is for fishing again at 6 metres for the small fish, uh, but this time on the bottom. So I've got double six elastic, that from connector, O11 main line, I've got a Chianti this time, got this other rig, 4x14 more stable because I'm fishing on the bottom. Three float rubbers, down to a bulk of number 10 shot, 18 inches from the hook. Six inches under, under that I've got another number 10, and six inches under that another one. I've then got an O10 hook length, a power line, and a size 18 PR434 hook, again with a puller bump. I've also decided to set up a feeder rod. It's a simple 10 foot quorum C series one. You've got an open ended feeder on a feeder bead. That's running on the six pound main line. I've then got a quick change bead. And then I've got 18 inches of 013 power line down to a size 16 P4 
BR434. So, I'll show you the baits I'll be using to tackle today's bait. I've got ground bait, it's my favourite winter ground bait, it's Sonu Baits F1 Dark. It's a sweet fish meal ground bait that skimmers love, and that's really dark. I've mixed that quite dry so that it will crumble up, but I'm posting that in so it will just crumble up above the bottom. I've put in a handful of casters, a handful of maggots. I don't want to give the fish too much to feed, too much to eat, because it's it's winter, they don't want to eat too much. I've potted five balls of this, the size of an orange, like that, in at 11 metres, and three at 6 metres. On the hook, I use either maggots or casters. The casters will pick out the bigger fish, but often for the skimmers, you just roll a maggot between your fingers, it'll kill it, and that's great for skimmers. Double dead maggots, great. I've also got some formal F1 flavoured pellets. These are just uh, as a backup. And corn, which is a, a great winter bait. It's very visible. Just to show you, I mean, a fish is going to see that over some black ground bait. Stands out. Again, just as a backup, 6mm and 4mm F1s, and then some competition ones, 6mm ones. And then, just in case I wanted to fish a uh, method feeder, I've got some tiger, tiger fish bandoms. They're perfect for carp. So, let's put all this into practice and try and get some fish. Thank you. 